Well, hi there. A user in the DVD styler has made a post. The user has made some uh, DVDs and uh, the method used has been to use OpenShot uh, on, a, on a Linux system and then use DVD styler to make some menus from where to choose chapters in the, these videos. But it takes a lot of time. So the user would like to use DVD styler directly. I take it that is not to use open shot. Add uh, three to five videos within some title sets. Create uh, chapter points in these videos. And then have some menus from where to choose between the chapters. And finally have some kind of base menu or main menu from where to choose which menu is to subsequently be used. However, this failed. So I thought I would try to make a project in the DVD styler along these lines. And uh, so here I am, I've started DVD styler. I can use the setting as they are. I OK that. I don't need any template for this, so I'm using DVD Styler 3.0.2 here, and uh, I OK that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a menu here in the title set domain, since I'm going to work on chapters. Over here I have made some videos, uh, they are about 4 minutes long each. It's uh, one large video I have chopped into pieces. And I start by dragging one of those onto my menu. I have uh, configured uh, DVD Styler to have a default chapter length of 1 minute. So if I double click on my title I already have uh, chapter points defined and the videos they are DVD compliant so I can use copy. You'll also notice that the DVDs are or the videos are actually in 16 to 9 aspects so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the aspect of my button as well to become 16 to 9 like this the next thing I'm going to do with my button is uh, I want a square button. So, so I'll do like this and I want a thinner uh, border white. And next I want some motion in my button. So I could say five seconds like this. Now for my menu when I double click on it I'll have it loop so the motion in the buttons will continue after my uh, five seconds um, okay that I right click my menu because I want a grid on it I could take a rather coarse grid and uh, have it shown like this Then I want to copy my uh, button here and paste it, and paste it. If I double click this button, I want this button then to use chapter 2. And I could use this button to select chapter 3. This. Okay. Then I use uh, Control A to select all button, and I hold down my Control key, and I make a copy of my buttons. I do that once more because then I have uh, these buttons on my menu. Now I need some more videos into the project. I take uh, these two drop down here. So 
I have now my three titles. I could use this button not to use title one anymore, but title two, like this. And I have this button to use title two. And similar for this button, title two. Okay. And then I'll use this button for title three. And title three here. And this button also have title three. And they are also using chapter there. So now my menu looks like this. Then I'll need a button so that I can return here to my VMGM menu, like this. And I'll add a text calling this title set one. And I've just aligned that to the center of my menu and have it there, like this. So, now I finish my first title set and then I'm going to add yet another title set. I take my menu here from title set 1, copy that and paste it over here in title set 2. Then I'll delete this empty menu. I don't need that anymore. Okay. And if I return to my videos, I could take uh, three more like this. Which is then added to my uh, title set 2. And now I need to make uh, my VMG M menu here so I can select between which title set to jump to. I could use this button, call it call it title set one and as action have it to jump to my menu in title set 1. You notice this is the root menu in my title set. I copy this one, paste it, and have this button to jump to the, the root menu in title set 2, like this. and align those to the left and then align them to the center of my menu and this one should be title set 2 okay So now I'm uh, ready to make my DVD and the first time around I create an ISO image uh, in order to test it before actually burning it. Uh, I could call that test ISO test ISO generate successfully so I can close this look over here and here I got my ISO I can test it before I burn it to see if it's working as intended 
I have here my root menu or base menu, whatever you want to call it. It's my BMG menu. I could jump to title set one. Choose a chapter. The airplanes we need image. to take. Go back to my menu. Select titles. Oh, it should call title set two, but I need to edit that. So, but apparently it seems to work like it should. So, oh, I'll return here and uh, do my editing. this and then create another ISO to test like this and this too generated successful so I close this one and uh, bring up and here I got my new ISO and let's see now it says title set 2 and everything It'll appears be to be working like it should. Um, I can choose my chapters and so forth. I guess this is about it for me now.